I wanted to, you know, uh, do a little bit different with the hair, grow it out for once. I've never had long hair in my life, so it's a good time doing it in fall camp. Nah, mom doesn't like it. My mom keeps telling me to get it styled, and I don't know what she means by that. John Mulchon, what a guy. He's a character, obviously, saw right there. I will say this, too. I used to actually have long hair in college. Now I don't, clearly. So grow it out while you can, because once you enter the professional world, you're less likely to be able to do whatever you want with your hair. How about this, though? This is a homecoming of sorts for John Mulchon. He grew up not far from here. Tonight, he's going to make his 29th consecutive start. That is the most consecutive starts of anyone on the active roster. But you heard John say that his mom wasn't too fond of his hair. We wanted to hear from her, and I'll get a few more stories. Take a listen. Truly? I would love for him to get style, and he wants to know what style means. I mean, for him to come to my hairdresser to kind of groom it differently. I love the short look, personally. Maybe we can take a little walk down the Mulchon memory lane. As he was little, he was very fun, always smiling and laughing. These are some of my favorite pictures of him. Dressed up as a firefighter. He loves getting dressed up. So he's going to kill me. This is one of his pictures. This looks like it was his first black belt. As you can see, he was very proud. Was football his first love? No, but he loved watching it on TV with his dad and stuff. But we enrolled him in karate. At first, it was like, oh, you know, but then when he put on the outfit, and he did very well with sparring and competition. This is his first day as a freshman in high school. Football. You look at this boy and you think about the one that you'll see today on the field. What, what are the thoughts that go through your mind? Wow, um, it's remarkable. These four and a half years, just, it's been a blessing to see him grow up to be a fine man and take charge and become a leader and help others. There's really no words to express how we feel as proud parents. Yeah, that right there is John Mulchon in a nutshell. He is an incredible leader on this team. He's a team captain, and he's going to walk out to midfield today along with his uh, fellow offensive lineman, Garrett Larson. Should be a pretty cool moment for them. Hey, when we talk about selflessness, though, check out a few of these numbers for you. Due to injuries, John Mulchon has shifted all over the offensive line so far this season. Take a look at this. Now, his natural position is left guard. That's where he's logged 110 snaps. He's also logged 58 snaps at left tackle, 140 snaps at right tackle. It just speaks to how versatile, dynamic, and selfless he is when it comes to this Boise State football team. You know, when we were catching up with his mom, I do have to admit, his dad, I noticed, has one heck of a memorable memorabilia collection. So, all honesty, I just couldn't help myself, and he took us on a tour. All right, guys, let's go upstairs. You can see some of my memorabilia on the wall here. We got Jackie Robinson and Walt Frazier and Muhammad Ali and... Who's this? Oh, that's my, that's my best friend, my son, John Phillip, number 77 for Boise State. What do we got in here now? Well, this is my memorabilia man cave. Hmm. I've been collecting for the last uh, 20 years. When, uh, you know, the economy got a little soft, so I said, you know, I might as well start investing in something that may have a, a return on, you know, a return in the future, and not for me, but for my family. Point out some of your, your prized possessions. I mean, you got a lot of them. All right, right here, it's, uh, I'm a Mickey Mantle fan. I, I grew up with Mantle, and then I got older, and I became a Rivera fan, and a Derek Jeter fan, and there's Joe D, Joe DiMaggio. And all the pictures up on top are uh, signature pictures that I received. You can see I have even some basketball, Bobby Knight basketball. And my latest was the Van Der Esch jersey. Van Der Esch was uh, cl close dear to us. I love the family and they're great people and it's a great tribute to Boise State. How unique is this collection? Well, I think it's unique because I think this ball right here is gonna be the, the seller of all sellers. That's John's first home run. If he makes it into a next level, uh, that may be something that will be very memorable for for the future. 
I have a feeling that Mama Molchan's going to be hanging on to that baseball forever. By the way, uh, John Molchan's dad, whose name is John Molchan as well, had a basal cell carcinoma on his nose, recently had a little operation there. He's doing fine. He's good. Just wanted to share that with you. But as we welcome in Will Hall back in Boise, John, uh, or Will, I got a chance to see where John gets his character from today. His parents, as you could just see right there, both great people. Absolutely. They certainly are. JT, real quick, what does uh, Big John think of Little John's mullet? <laughs> he just kind of laughs at it. Believe it or not, like, I, I'm sorry, like, this is a true story. He looked at me and said that he, he wished that John had haircuts like us. I, 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 I don't know if I agree with him or not, but that, that's what he said. I, I, one more thing I want to share with you. I know he told you this a little bit earlier today, but when we were down here at Mountain West Media Days, John brought, or John's mom, Lisa, brought him a huge care package over to the hotel, couldn't even finish it. Well, last night, she was taking care of her baby boy once again. A bunch of animal-style double-doubles from in and out. So the boys on the offensive line were eating good last night, Will. Cannot beat it, absolutely. In and out burger, as my wife loves it. I personally think it's kind of overrated. All right, she's going to be mad that I mentioned that. <laughs> as if the Broncos needed any more help in taking on UNLV, reinforcements are on the way, as we touched on earlier. Starting safety, DeAndre Pierce, expected back in the starting lineup tonight, as well as starting right tackle, John Ajuku, the former Boise High product, returning to his right tackle spot should help stabilize an offensive line that has had to do quite a bit of shuffling since his injury in Florida. That stability should help in better protection of Hank Bachmeyer, as well as paving the way on the ground against a UNLV defense that ranks 120th in the country in rush defense. They give up 227 yards per game on the ground. I think it'll help the run game. I think it'll help our protection. Because again, those guys, they've, done, they've had so many reps together. I know this season they haven't. But leading up to it, they did. And so all these things that we're talking about, a, a twist or how to block a certain scheme, they've done it more together through spring, summer, and fall camp. And then everybody's back to their positions. Everybody's back to what they prepared for, what they mentally came into this season to play. And if we can get that done, I think we'll be better up front. Should be a big boost to Boise State's offensive line tonight. Big John and the Broncos O-line hoping to pave the way for a big day from Robert Mahone. We have more on the Broncos leading rusher after the break on the Bronco Roundup game day show.